As products go, the automobile is about as emotional as it gets. Short of a winning lottery ticket, what other manufactured goods can make knees tremble or your heart palpitate with primal lust? Coming up next, we run down the 10 sexiest cars available today. This is the short list. Well, it has been quite an interlude since our last shortlist, but like a MRSA infection, you just can't get rid of us. Anyway, what are the 10 sexiest cars on the market today? Well, I posed that very question to the Autoguide.com editorial staff, and here's what we came up with. At number 10, we've got one of my favorites, the Jaguar F-Type. You know, there is just so much right about how this big cat poop looks. It's long and low, elegant yet angry, with classic proportions and menacing details. But perhaps best of all, it drives just as nicely as it looks, doing it all without totally breaking the bank. Next up, the Cadillac CTS-V. This car has undeniable appeal, though arguably it's not driven by design, which frankly isn't particularly lustworthy. Instead, the V's performance is what steals your breath. And seriously, this car probably collapsed one of my lungs. <laughs> A supercharged 6.2 liter V8 provides 640 reasons why you should totally buy a racetrack. Magnetic dampers, unflappable brakes, and razor sharp steering complete the package. Number eight, the Mercedes-Benz CLS class, which is something of a half-breed, marrying attributes of two-door cars with those of sedans. This segment-fusing four-door coupe may sound a bit odd, but it is a sight to behold. A swooping roofline, dramatic fenders, and sloping rear make it stand out in an ocean of look-alike luxury cars. It's hard to believe the Audi A5 family has been around for nearly a decade, but these graceful coupes and cabrios have withstood the test of time like the Great Pyramid of Giza. They are so tastefully done, so elegantly rendered, you can't help but stare. Of course, the high-performance S5 and crushing RS5 turn this normally mild-mannered model into an absolute monster, but even the most basic A5 is enough to make me drool. In position six, we have a regally named supercar from an automaker with more brand cachet than Rodeo Drive. The Aston Martin Vanquish brings to mind some sort of British battle cruiser from the 1930s, and while this six-figure expensive coupe is hardly nautical, it still thunders like a capital ship. A six-liter V12 provides 568 brake horsepower and an exhaust note more symphonic than Beethoven's magnum opus. The curvaceous body rendered in lightweight carbon fiber is icing on this exotic cake. Well, those are some hot cars. In fact, I think I might have to sit down to cool off a little bit, but well, wait a second. I, I, I already am sitting down, but well, why, why can't I feel my legs? What's going on? Anyway, just like that, we are halfway to the finish. Like life, it's all downhill from here. Or is it? Now, if any car looks the part, like a physical embodiment of speed, you could argue the Mercedes-AMG GTS trumps all rivals. This thing is incredibly hunkered down with a hood long enough for Cessnas to land on. Accordingly, its dash to axle ratio is almost comical in a good way, and a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 can give you 60 miles an hour in just 3.7 seconds. Next up, an Italian exotic, the one that does not have an animal of some sort on its logo. That qualification excludes Ferrari. Lambo is off the table as well, along with Alfa Romeo and Abarth. And no, it's not a Fiat or a Lancia. Of course, I'm talking about the Maserati Gran Turismo Sport, a car that certainly looks suitably exotic. Fortunately, it's also got the hardware to back that styling up. Under its hood is a 4.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 that delivers 454 thoroughbred horses. And how can you argue with that? Well, rather easily, in fact. The folks at Lamborghini build something considerably more unique 
and it's called the Oricon, which is apparently Spanish for hurricane, yeah. El Nino must have already been taken. Anyway, this car's bodywork is sharp and angular, yet somehow slick at the same time. And if you're lucky enough to spot one driving in the wild, it is guaranteed to grab your gaze and not let go, especially if it's painted in some vibrant hue. Upping the ante, its name even has a letter with a diacritical mark. How's that for fancy? Unlike their neighbors to the south, Germans have no patience for nonsense like this. Alphanumeric nomenclatures are the most logical, and really, you don't need more than one letter and one digit in a name, and that's exactly the prescription Audi followed with their R8. Now in its second generation, this Teutonic exotic features a 5.2 liter V10 that puts out 540 horses powers, enough to hit 62 miles an hour in a blistering 3.5 seconds. And finally, we come to our number one pick, but truth be told, all of these cars are absolute stunners, so just think of this as first among equals. If the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta is wrong, we never want to be right. This Grand Tourer is simply gorgeous from every angle. Deep sculpting on the doors elegantly flows into the hood. A short rear end makes it look ready to strike, while a stretched front gives it a lean and hungry appearance. Its naturally aspirated V12 spins to nearly 9,000 RPM and puts out 731 horses. If you weren't sold by the design, that engine ought to seal the deal. And with that, we have reached the end of another short list, and no doubt you have more than a few thoughts about some of the cars that we have opted to include here, so go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'll be sure to read all of the good ones and ignore the rest. Anyway, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you down the road. But before you go, just hold on a second. Stop you in your tracks right there, because I gotta tell you, we got a whole bunch of other shortlist videos out there that you should really be checking out. We've got the top 10 most fun cars for less than $50,000, best family stands, most expensive cars even. They're all on our YouTube channel, which is of course youtube.com slash Slash Auto Guide, very easy to find. Lots of other great content there as well, from the latest auto show reveals, vehicle reviews. Do yourself a favor, check it out.